biosimilar is really kind of are beginning to kind of take off in in, uh, in in oncology. So for breast cancer, the one that's the one that we've really seen data on is transtuzumab biosimilars. And um, what's been shown is randomized studies where they've been compared to transtuzumab, um, showing safety and similar immunogenicity. Um, so they are pretty much ready for prime time. Um, it's going to be interesting because the data suggests that they're identical, but whether patients who, you know, there are patients who've been on transduzumab with metastatic disease for years, how accepting they would be of changing uh, to another drug, we just don't know at this time point. Um, so they're an exciting breakthrough, and obviously there are biosimilars in some of the supportive agents we use that are already used, so this is for real, and, and, and it's definitely going to start uh, impacting our care. Obviously the hope would be that we can decrease patient, co or the cost of the drugs, and um, what the patient actually ends up having to pay um, you know, other things are different modes of administration, so there is a subcutaneous form of transtuzumab, which again would be very useful, um, it's available outside the US, but we don't have it yet.